Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to work with WordPress admin panel. So first of all we need to log in. Here you should just enter your username and password. If you forgot password you can get new password by clicking this link. So uh, now about uh, <coughs> admin panel. Here you can update your WordPress version or uh, if there is any update to your plugins or teams you can update also them. Um, now uh, WordPress toolbar uh, it's uh, this black line here. Uh, it is really useful thing for example you can use it even if you are on uh, front-end part of your site. Here you still have it if you log it in. And uh, for example, you can start editing this post just by clicking this, or you can create new post or new page or go to admin pan. So it's really useful thing. Um, now uh, about this part of the admin panel. Here you can create new post or see all created posts before you can edit them. Um, here you can, uh, for example, format your text. So, um, if you wish, you could uh, go to, into source code mode. And edit it. Also, you can, for example, make bold or add media. So let's add some media. You can upload it, like select file and then navigate to your media. Or you can just drag and drop your. Uh, Uh, drag and drop your images to this area. So then you just can uh, insert one image into the post or you can insert uh, several images. For example, you can create a gallery and insert it like gallery. Create new gallery, select the uh, number of columns, size, and uh, links to media file or just to attachment page. Okay. Uh, then you can, for example, create paragraph. So it's, uh, uh, I think it's straightforward how to use this panel. Also, you can create categories, tags. And set featured image. So featured image usually uh, are used, uh, for example, in on category archive page or on main page where you see preview, preview of the post. If you don't like some part of this panel, you can drag and drop or just hide parts that you don't need. For example, maybe you don't need format. So you know it disappeared. And you can update or, pu or publish post or you can uh, uh, change status to draft and then you can choose the date when you want to publish it maybe you want to be <clears throat> it is supposed to be published in the future then you schedule and post will be automatically published okay uh, so here is also media it's similar to you can add it the same way when as you <coughs> as when you editing post 
pages. Um, so pages are different from the post because they uh, usually needed for uh, usually used for example when <clears throat> when you have about page or contact page so it's a more static thing and here you can edit your comments for example if you think it's spam you can put it to spam um, okay now about um, installing teams <clears throat> Now we have a default WordPress team, appearance teams, and you can see that it is activated. You can change team. Uh, he here we have also three teams that are installed. They are located Here we have all teams that are installed inside our site, but we can install more. For this, you should to press Add New Team and uh, just search for a team that you like. For example, maybe we like this team, and now you can install it. and activate. Now active team is uh, the Monday team and front end of your site should also be changed. So, uh, and as you can see, this after installation, this team also, also appear in this in folder teams. <clears throat> but I will switch back to default team. Okay, uh, now about customizing, uh, it's uh, all depend on from how team is developed, so usually you can change appearance of your team. Here you just uh, can change information about your site, for example here this is some title, just another WordPress. Um, you can load some logo, change header, and so on. Okay. <clears throat> now about navigation menus. You should go to appearance menus to create your navigation menu. Now you can uh, choose uh, where you want to show it. Or add some items to the menu. You can add pages, posts, uh, custom links or categories. Also, you can change structure of your menu. Like uh, now, sample page will be parent item of uncategorized category. And here you can <coughs> set location. I want to show it as primary menu. Save menu. And what we have, we have here sample page and uncategorized. how to use widget and what is widgets. Uh, so widgets you can find here. Uh, here is default widgets that are pre-installed with WordPress, but if you will install plugins in the future, they can add uh, new widgets to this area. area. And uh, here you can see some examples of widgets, for example, search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories. It's 
you can add the cloud and so on. Also, you can just add arbitrary HTML, and you here you can insert any HTML code that you like. So let's save. Now see what we have here. Here you can see this code. Also, some teams have more than one widget area. He here we have only one that is shown on the left part of the screen. And now about WordPress plugins. You can install it the same way you install Teams. Just go to plugins, add new, and search for plugin you, you like. I have, for example, we installed contact form. It's widely used plugin. As you can see, there is one million active installs. After installing, you should activate your plugin. And now your plugin is available in installed plugins. Here you can edit settings. Also, plugin. If you install plugin, they may add, add um, new items to this menu. For example, here we have contact forms, and it, this item was added by plugin. You can create new or, uh, or edit existed contact form. Here you can change something. And uh, also, now where we installed plugin, it should appear inside plugins folder. Contact form seven. <clears throat> so now let's just create contact form. You should copy short code. Here is example of short code. So often plugins add short codes. And uh, now we should create. Um, I should say this. Uh, should create contact page and add this short code. So as you can see, our contact form page plugin works. Now about uh, managing users. Uh, by default, when you install WordPress, there is only one user. It's you, and he have, has role administrator. But uh, in, in WordPress, there is five role, roles. You can read more about them by this link. Uh, if in short, then editor can uh, edit all posts created by any author. Authors can create, edit, and publish their own, own posts. Contributors can only uh, create posts, but they can't upload images and can't publish their post. And subscriber, um, as you can read here, he can only log into WordPress site, maybe comment something. And so actually it's for uh, uh, if you want to, um, <clears throat> for example, not allow unregistered users to comment on your, on your site. So then it's good role. Or maybe you want to collect the emails to, to then be able to communicate with them. Okay, so it's almost all. Oh, I should show how to create users. To create new user, you just press add new. Then you enter user email, username, 
and uh, send new user email about their account. Here you can select role, then press add new user and uh, information about uh, this about how to log into site will be sent to user email. And last uh, settings. Here you can uh, change information about your site. Here is sa same that we ha had on customize option. We also can change this title and tagline. Um, now you can allow to register new user. So if you will uh, check this, then anyone can will be able to register on your site. <clears throat> and you can change the default role. Maybe you want to all new user to be authors, but be careful it, if uh, you can trust everyone on the internet. Maybe it's better to set it to subscribers. Uh, also, mm, you can change. Default post categories, post format. Uh, you can uh, set front page as static. So now when I will save this and will go to main page of the site, it will not show me last post, but show this sample page. You can change number of posts that will be shown on each page. So, for example, when you live in class, uh, new news on, on main page, when you're leaving uh, the last posts, there will be shown only 10. But you can change this. Uh, show full text or summary on the feed. Um, and uh, also you can change default image sizes. It's all depend of your from your uh, team design what is the best for you. And permalinks, as you can see now, we have um, maybe I should uh, make latest post again. And now, if I will open sample page, it uh, has pretty permalink, but uh, you can change the structure here. Maybe you want to just be uh, like uh, look like this or archives and numeric so. You can change how your URLs will look in this section. <clears throat> and here you can uh, allow commenting or not allow. And you won't post a comment. Maybe you don't want to every, everyone be able to comment. Users must be registered. So he, here is where a subscriber role is useful. Okay, that was a quick guide, guide, but of course there is a lot more that you should know. Maybe I will talk about it in future videos.